Worst to best, ranking Valorant knives. I'm ranking every Valorant knife from worst to best, so please watch to the end. This video took forever to make. Seriously, there's like... I don't know if I want to watch this, not gonna lie. 71 knives in the game now. There were like 45 last year when I did this video. Don't be that guy that just skips to the end. I worked hard on this. Come on. Coming in dead last, the worst skin in all of Valorant is the Hack Axe. Seriously, this is the worst skin I've ever seen in my life. It's a lazy green screen skin, and it just looks terrible. Uh, what am I looking at? It's terrible. Who wants some weirdo's face on the skin? It's not even a real agent. I genuinely never thought that the <laughs> Telling me? It's, it's, he's talking about the finish, not the knife, right? Like the knife type. First of all, the knife type, what am I looking at? It's like akimbo. You have an Ursus knife in the left hand, a, a wonky one. In the right hand, you just have a tomahawk axe. And then the skin is is City? Who wants some weirdo's face on the skin? It's not even a real agent. I genuinely never thought that the smite knife would be better than a skin in the game, but the hack axe is just so bad, it takes the number 71 spot. Coming in at number 70 is the smite knife. <laughs> Bro, what is this Goofia Nomad knife? Are you trolling? Or am I tripping? That's the Nomad knife, no? Knife. To be completely honest, I'm still shocked this skin isn't in dead last. It just looks so terrible, and putting it last is such a big meme. I just really think this knife skin is light years ahead of the hack axe. Coming in at number 69 is the Task Force 809 knife. Uh -huh. Even for a battle pass skin, this skin just looks bad. Plain and simple, uh -uh -uh. it's ugly. Coming in. What's the f button on that thing, bro? It looks like you're at a fast food store, and it's one of the things that they give you to let you know when the food is ready. Ring, 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 ring. Bad. Plain and simple, it's ugly. Coming in at number 68 <laughs> Genesis Arc. Last year, I placed the skin a little higher because I thought it was original and creative. And honestly, that effect wore off. I think this thing looks terrible. Coming in at number 67 is the Hive Mind Sword. And it's basically the Peck of Sword. Why we can call it the Hive Mind Sword? Oh! Cock. Chat. Am I the only one that spent hours upon hours as a kid copying a base one to one, wall by wall, tower by tower, trap by trap, always looking at the leaderboard and like taking a screenshot, putting it on the monitor and doing copying one by one before copying was a thing. Now you can just copy bases. Back in the day, you couldn't. Boda. Why we can call it the hive mind sword. Just doesn't look good. Next, coming in at number 66 is the prism knife. It's just a default That's knife. Just Fate knife. That's one of the fate knives that that they people want to sell you if you Google Karambit Fate, and it's one of the like finishes that look nothing like the Karambit Fate in CS. Cool. Coming in at number sixty-five. Huh? What am I looking at? It is the spline dagger? It's just the default knife, but bony, weird, ugly looking. Ugh. Coming in at number sixty-five. How many knives do they have? Or is the striker knife? This is the first knife on this list. If you got in the battle pass and you know you spent your ten bucks, you grinded the battle pass, you unlocked this skin, unlocked all the variants. I could sort of seventy-one. <laughs> bro, CS:GO has been out for what? In over ten years, bro. We got how many different knives? Twenty or something? Quality over quantity, bro. Jesus, what is what is happening? Understand using if you don't really have the money lying around to buy a knife, but seriously, this is one of the worst options as far as battle pass skins go. Coming in at number 63 is no the default knife. knife. Yes, I believe the default knife is better than all of the skins I've listed already on this list. Coming in at number 62 is the kingdom knife. And this knife would be the worst knife on this list probably, except it's kind of a flex if you have it because it's OG and the first battle pass skin. Coming in at number 61 is the song steal. Another battle pass knife, another Chat. added knife. Whatever. What I have to be honest though, bro. Some of them do look decent. I remember watching Kaide. Don't ask me why. It was just, I don't know. I had just had something on the screen and it was just live. And she was rocking what's called, I don't know what it's called, but it was like made out of Lego. And the way, the sound it does when it pulls out, it sounds good. I don't know what the f knife was called, but that was pretty decent, bro. That actually had a nice sound to it, bro. An addicting sound. Blast X? Is it called like that? It, of course, don't compare it with CS. Not even close. I'm ranking it. Like, it's goofy as... But, 
Yeah, 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 this one, this one, this one, this one. Listen, listen. Bruder, I don't know, but this does something to me, I swear to God. This was the only decent skin that I've seen so far. That's kinda cool. Not comparable with CS. If I was Valorant and Jaya, that would be a knife. Album. What are you gonna do about it? Coming in at number 60 is the Iridian Thorn Blade. This skin is just ugly. It's like the Genesis Arc skin, but slightly better because it has a slightly cleaner color palette. Still bad though. Coming in at number 59 is the Outpost Melee, also known as the Home Depot knife. I mean, come on, what else do I have to say? It's literally a freaking what Home these Depot skins, knife. You wanna use bro. this? Coming in at number 57. <laughs> oh my god. What Seven am I watching? Winter Wonderland candy cane. And if you want to carry around a giant candy cane, this is your knife. But I just don't know why you'd want to do that. Coming in at number 56 is the Nebula what? knife. And I own this knife. That's the best thing I'll say about the Nebula knife, to be honest. Coming in at 55 is who else? The skin's kind of cool. What the f***, bro? It hides your whole screen. Because it's like a clean sword type thing, but it's just really not worth picking up. Coming in at number 54 is the Ceruleus Axe. Mid. That's all I need to say. Coming in. Why is he not even showing it in game? He has to be trolling. Or is the Ceruleus Axe. Mid. That's all I need to say. Coming in at number 53 is the Artisan Foil. Eh? He's the sword, but I just really am not a fan of the swords, to be honest. <laughs> Coming in at number 52 is the Cyberstasis <laughs> Impact Drill. This what the f is, is, is he playing Overwatch? The f Raynaut? What? Skin would be really, really cool and way higher up on the list, but it is too. Is they're actually Overwatch. They're not just copying from CBS. This is Overwatch copy, no? The animation. That's Reinhardt. Basically, the entire screen, and I swear, if you use this knife, you definitely. One shot from mid because you can't even see a guy when you're rotating or something. Coming in at number 51 is the dot SYS Melee. Honestly, not a bad skin for a battle pass skin. It's decent. I completely understand why you would use this. Coming in at number 50 is the Lux Knife, which probably got the biggest nerf of all time when Valorant switched from the beta to the normal game because in the beta it was like the sickest knife ever and now it's very below average. Coming in at number 49 is the Ego Knife. If you use this knife, I really don't see how you could have a big ego because this knife isn't very good. Coming in at number 48 is the prison three acts it's really not gonna lie all right and in csgo this has been teased as well a tomahawk has been in the game files for the longest time they never released it though they never released it this could have as well been a csgo knife probably much smarter though i don't know <laughs> bro it's a bro bro it goes to the top of the screen chat <laughs> imagine knife <laughs> that goes up until here what the f going on it's just not it's just look bro what the f Really good for a battle pass skin, just there's so many good skins in this game, and you just can't justify- Yeah, yeah, and that's pretty true. By even putting it in the top half of our skins here. Coming in at number 47 uh? is the Obsid Obsidiana? I don't even know how to say that. The Bleh. <laughs> Oh my god, I can. Obsidian skin. That's, what, that's just what? what we're gonna call it. If you like that sort of Aztec y type art style, I guess I could see why you'd like this skin. There are just, once again, so many better options. Coming in at number 46 is the Prosperity. Uh -huh. Some people really like this skin. I've just never been a fan. I think it takes up. Chat, do you get both of them? Or can you equip a Valorant knife in each hand? Or what's going on? Or does it come together? It comes together? What the f is it though? Like it doesn't fit at all, or? Green and really just doesn't look that good. Coming in at Does Valorant have gloves? Or only knives? Only knives. Mm. Number 45 is the Titan Nail Mace. This is a really great- uh, 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 A blaze from Minecraft. That's always- This is in the nether. Budget skin. Yeah, I completely yeah. understand. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on Valorant, but you want to get a pretty <laughs> nice looking knife, why you would buy this skin, but that doesn't make it a good knife in general. Coming in at number 44 is the Snowfall Wine. If you want to feel like it's Christmas and you want a decent looking okay, skin. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Chat, chat, chat. Like, if, if, if we are being completely unbiased, I think this looks... This is a cool idea. It's, of course, not... Guys, don't even compare to CSGO. But this, from the Valorant skins, this would be my style. Decent looking skin to show your Christmas spirit. This is a knife for you. I love Christmas. I just really couldn't see anyone using this skin in July, so I can't really say it's that good of a skin. Coming in at number 43 is the Ion Energy Sword and put. Hello! Uh, Halo! They're copying from all game genres, am I tripping? That's the Halo knife. Sword and put your pitchforks away. Give me a chance here. I'm just really not a fan. Was? Was? Shit, it's, it's just so blatant, no? Glove style knives. I mean, maybe it's just me, maybe it's a lot of people, but I really just don't like it. The game. effect? I think the Ion Energy Sword is the worst of the bunch. Coming the Iron Energy Sword? I can't. Was it a corporation ship? 
Number 42 is the Blade of Chaos. It's too big, the color scheme is weird, and it's too clunky to use. Coming in at number 41 is the Singularity Knife. I used to think this skin was really cool, but it really lacks animation and just looks like a default knife with a quick coat of paint over it, so this seems like a fair spot. Coming in at number 40 is the Mage Punk Shock Gauntlet. I know, I know. I know. Just get used to it. These aren't going to get ranked very high. It's not going to get any better. I hate these. Coming in at number 39 what? is the Equilibrium Fan. I How does that do damage? It's paper. I really think this is a much, much lesser ripoff version of the Celestial Fan, and the animation slash art style just really looks like it doesn't belong in Valorant. I hate my life. It's too crisp, if that makes sense. The edges are too defined. I just really think this was a decent idea, Show but very, very poor execution. Coming in. What's that tech going to be? Bro, what's going on? That 38 is the broken blade of the Ruined King. It's too big, it's too clunky, it's a sword. It's, ugh, just get it out of my screen. Coming in at number 37 is the Blade of Circuit. Circuit? I think it's Circuit. I think it's cool that they tried something new, and this is a relatively cheap knife. So this reminds me of a League of Legends character. Who am I thinking of, Chad? Doesn't one guy have like two blades or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Civil. No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, yeah, I don't know. It's somewhat of a pass, but it's just really not my thing. Coming in at number 36 is the Relic of the Sentinel. One of the better glove knives. I just really hate glove knives. So, this seems like a fair. What the f is a glove knife? Number 36 is the Relic of the Sentinel. One of the better glove knives. I just really hate. What the f is a glove knife? I hate glove knives. So, this seems like a fair spot on my list, at least. Coming in at number 35 is the Neptune Anchor. I'm actually. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That? Is sick. I love that. As well, Overwatch for me. I'm uh, Roadhog Man, one of the best hookers in Germany. It is what it is. But the Roadhog, the ice skin that you can only get during winter, bro, that has a weapon like this, bro. And I think it's sick. I like that. I'm a man of the ocean. Man of the ocean. That's why I like this, bro. That looks cream. Big fan of this Sorry. Skin. I mean, for an anchor, that's just an anchor with a little starfish on it. I, I don't like the starfish. Five. The starfish is kind of cringe, bro. Dead middle of the pack. Seems like a good spot. It's not too good of a skin, not too bad of a skin. Better Coming in at number 34 is the Primax. Last year, this would have been ranked a lot higher, but to be honest, there are so many good skins in this game now. The Primax. And that's absolutely true. Max, which is a good passable skin, ranks this low. Coming in at number 33 is the K-Tac Blade. One of the better battle pass the skins what? in the game. This blade is very clean, and if you're on a budget, it would be a great choice. Coming in at number 32. Modula! Guys, I guys, I don't know what it is. This one I actually enjoy. Two is the Blastex knife. This knife is pretty cool. The it's sound. a little basic, but I really like the art style, so 32 feels like a good spot. Coming in at number 31 is the Personal Administrative Melee Unit. If you really want a basic knife skin, but want a decently cool animation, this is the skin for you. I always imagine KO mains using this knife, because he was used in the trailer that I made one of my first Valorant videos on, so this knife will always hold a special place in my heart. Coming in at number 30 is the Mage Punk Electro Blade. Once again, a very what? classic style skin, but the lightning effect and the different color variations make it one of the better, more basic-looking knife skins. Coming in at number 29 chat, is chat, the chat, chat, chat. Sword. How does it even work in Valorant? How, like, what, uh, so, you don't have different patterns. It's, it's all the same, right? So, is it shop cycles? Is it that type of thing? So, in, in winter, you can buy, like, this one comes out and it never comes back? Or does it come... Uh, it's a rotating skin cycle. Okay, are there skins that never come back and they're just super rare? Or do they always come back at one point? Because like in Fortnite, you had the Skull Trooper and stuff at the beginning or running at Raider. They always... Oh, no. So none of them are fully rare. Battle Pass. What about the first Battle Pass ever? Is there nothing like super rare? Where accounts are selling for thousands? Because that's the still the, the case in different games. Like League of Legends, you have the Riot where you had to attend an event and then they're super, super rare. VCT skins. Okay, but there's nothing super, super rare. Where accounts are selling for hundreds of thousands. Like, not hundreds, but thousands. No. Kind of like the Primax, it's a really good skin that unfortunately is just passed up by a bunch of skins that are even better. Coming in at number 28 is Gaia's Wrath Axe. This skin is okay, I really don't have anything bad to say about it, and the color variations make it a decent buy. Coming Why in- is there a leaf coming out of it? What is that? Oh, not a leaf, but a feather. Make it a decent buy. Coming in at number 27 huh? is the Katrina. This knife would be very- Okay, bad. listen, listen, is this guy's taste stupid? This is like the worst knife I've seen so far. What is this piece of Average to below average, but what puts it slightly higher on the list is the clean animation and its obscurity. If you have this knife, you're pretty unique and it's kind That's of a terrible. cool buy. Coming in at number 26 is the Crimson Beast Hammer. This hammer is pretty- 
Overwatch, what's his name? The guy with the t uh, turret. <laughs> what's going on? Pretty cool. I like the animation. I like the color. Because if you know anything about me, you know I use a lot of red skins. Torbjörn. So yeah, gets a thumbs up for me. Coming in at number 25. Ah, Radiant Christ. <laughs> what? Why does it look like that? Why is it so comic? This is 001 Baseball Bat. This would be a top 10 skin for me, except it takes up just way too much of the screen, so I would never consider buying this skin. Coming in at number 24 what? What was is that gun? way too much of the screen, so I would never consider buying this Lol. You have to admit though, chat, they can be really creative. I'm not gonna say that it's good or something. Or is it creative? It's just Borderlands, or? Yeah, maybe not, I don't know. They're good at copying. Skin. Coming in at number 24 is the Forsaken Ritual Blade. The skin itself is pretty cool, but it loses points in my book because it's basically a ripoff Reaver knife. Coming in at number 23 is a skin I didn't even know existed until five minutes ago, the Soul Strife Sight. Try saying that five times fast. Bro, he didn't know it existed, aka it's probably rare, and it's the coolest looking so far. How the f*** is it together with these pieces of dog? That's like the coolest knife ever. And it took me like 15 takes to get that right. No, seriously, I've never seen this skin run in game, but it looks so clean and so nice. This is honestly an underrated <laughs> skin I might consider picking up next time it comes back in my- Ah, uh, it's, it's not rare? Okay, okay. Everyone hates it. B b just because it's not rare, but... If something is super common and everyone has it, I can see it being like... Lower on the list. Shop. Coming in at number 22 is the Prime Karambit. This skin's pretty good. I mean, it is the OG Karambit in the game, so I guess it gets what? bonus points for that. But can <laughs> bro, bro, what is this? Compared to all the other Karambits, it's kind of underwhelming. Coming in at number 21 I... is the Oni Claw. I know I said. Okay, bro, what, what, what is it called? The Oni Claw? Bro, 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 listen, listen, bro. You can steal from any game, alright? But if you're stealing from me, bro. Karambits, it's kind of underwhelming. Coming in at number 21 is the Oni Claw. Listen. I know I said I really hate the glove knife. Oh, at least make it a cool skin. What the f is this? It's a pass for a few reasons. One, it's OG. This was the first Why is it fingering like really that? try using a glove knife, which was a really new concept at the time. And number two, it's just the is best. Is that a executed. fucking bull ring? See using this thing, it looks decent. The glow oh, is kind jeepers. of cool, and I'm okay with it. Coming in at number 20 is Yoru's Butterfly Comb. This is Dr. Disrespect. The best skin in the game if you're your main. If you're anyone else who plays any other agent at any time, it just makes no sense why you'd use this over any of the other butterfly knives. Coming in at number 19 is the Ruin Dagger. It's insane that a battle pass skin is this trash. high on the list, but that really just goes to show how OG, sought after, and clean this skin is. Coming in at number 18 what? is the skin I per- It's- 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 it combined with sex toy. Oh, am, I, am I seeing this wrong? Blood put it in place number 18. What's going on? Personally own the gun baton. I bought this. You a little freaky, huh? Skin a long, long time ago. It was one of the first skins I bought, and I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I see how it is. LG kind purse. of an out of pocket skin. It looks like. You know what? I'm not going to say what it looks like, but it, it's a cool skin. It looks cool, and it's. She's self aware. It's kind of nice. Coming in at number 17 is the Velocity Karambit. This is the best battle pass skin of all time. Like seriously, it is so clean and I'm so happy. I personally own this one because I cycled this skin in my rotation for other way better skins that I have. I mean, it's really just that good. Coming in at number 16 is the Recon <laughs> Bro, I hate this. Melee I, bro, I Unit. If you oh my God, where were we bro? Coming in at number <laughs> 16 is the- Coming in at number 19? Bro, what is going on? It's a for other way better skins that I have. I mean, it's really just that good. Coming in at number 16 is the <laughs> What's Recon going on? Battle Song Butterfly Knife. On my 2022 edition list, this skin I think was Why is it so high. fast? It really goes to show how many great skins Valorant has added that really make this skin oh, man. Can you stop there blazing? so many better butterfly knives. It really makes this one like, I, I don't know why you would buy this. <laughs> why is it so fast? The year 2023. Coming in at number 15 is the Glitch Pop Axe. Not much to say here. It's a Glitch Pop skin. It's clean. It's nice. But I really wish there was like a Glitch Pop Karambit or something. A glitch honest. what? Coming in at number 14 is the Origin what the is that? I really like the animation on this thing, but it looks too much like a protractor to be any higher than this. Uh, what? It's good though. I mean, I like it. I love the Origin bundle. Coming in at number 13 is the Terminus A Looks like a saw cutter. I just found out about this knife Wood like cutter. five minutes ago, but oh my gosh, I'm impressed. Once again, I've never seen this what thing in game. 
did no one buy this thing? Or, I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know what everyone's issue with it is. Coming in at number 12 is the Waveform Melee. I can't play the sound because Valorant will strike my video down and take all of my ad revenue, but I mean, it's pretty satisfying. You're trolling. Is he serious? Ah, because it's music. Okay, okay, okay. I thought in general. Lo okay, okay. Bro, I thought for, for some reason, I thought that, that's a, like, you can't, bro, Jesus. Okay, okay. It's fine to hear it's, this It's music. like it plays music. Music at first, but I feel like after like five what or What the f is called? I want to see it, bro. Now, now I'm invested. <laughs> Guys, I can't. Oh my God. Inscription ZX Valorant. Imagine simple at the major, bro. Simple at the major. Do 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 do. Bro, what's going on? But CS:GO kinda took this from Valorant, no? This gives me CS2 vibes. The one kill, two kill, three kill with the cards. The sound effect is kind of similar. Yeah. It's music at first, but I feel like after like five or so hours with this knife, the music would get old really fast. Coming in at number 11 is the Xeno Hunter knife. Some knife. people argue that this is the best knife in the game, and I think they're being blinded by nostalgia, to be honest. It is pretty cool, and I love the By clean what? Nostalgia from when? A year ago when Valorant came out? The knife is in a very unique position, which kind of exposes more of your agent's arm, which is kind of interesting. But I still don't really see what the top five hype is about. I think 11 is the perfect spot for this knife. It looks like it's top 10 time. Let's if you've it. made it this far, please consider subscribing. I post weekly videos and daily shorts, plus I stream Valorant every single day. There's bound to be something on this channel you will enjoy if you are a Valorant player, so subscribe. Coming in at number 10 is the Elder Flame Dagger. This skin was my number two last year, and the fact that it's dropped all the way down to 10 really- Not gonna lie, that's pretty cool, bro. That's pretty badass. Of course, you can't compare it with CSGO, bro. And it's like, you know, like, what the f*** is that? Reminds me of TF2, unusual. The burning head captain shows you how many incredible skins Valorant has put out this year. Coming in at number 9 is the Champion's Butterfly Knife. This knife is pretty cool, although it's kind of what? lame that you have to top frag to unlock the really, really cool animations. So that's why it's so- uh, Top frag based animation? Is that a good thing? I don't even know. Lol, chat, there's so much that I don't know about this game. Top frag animation low on the list. I will say though, top fragging and seeing the sick animation might be one of the best feelings in Valorant. This Come would be a knife for me then, bro. In CSGO, bro, I would have that, bro. Because the whole time, I'm, you know, I could make use of the rare animation, bro. In at number eight is the Reaver Knife. Not the Reaver Karambit, the Reaver Knife. The Reaver Knife is pretty cool, but- It's just, it's just too big, bro. It like, is it a knife or is it a sword, you know? I mean, to be honest, it gets outclassed by the Reaver Karambit. Reminds me of Dark and Darker, the rogue class. A bit. Coming in at number seven is the Celestial Fan. This what? was the number one skin last year. And this really continues the trend. Okay, what is this guy's list, bro? What is this bulk ass f uh, yeah, Was? <laughs> I can't. This is like the worst one. ...of all my amazing skins last year, dropping down slightly this year because of Valorant's incredible skin output. Still, this oh my, If he keeps glazing like that, I'm gonna snap. <laughs> Great though, I mean, it's incredibly satisfying and it feels like it never gets old to use. Coming in at number six is the Glitch Pop Dagger. Kind of like the Reaver Knife, this skin gets dropped down a significant amount because they're blah, 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 better skins above, blah, 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 Valorant's great, I get it. This skin is still really satisfying though because- Chet and, uh, this is, is, it, is it, did they take it from Avengers where you have to collect gemstone? Like every ace you get one gemstone and then you get a nuke at five gemstones? Is there blah blah blah, better skins above, blah blah blah. At this better. point, bro, I'm like, uh, nothing would surprise me. Oh, it's great, I get it. This skin is still really satisfying though, because it changes colors as you inspect it. Coming in at number five is the RGX Pro Blade. This is the first skin that was out last year that actually increases Masayi in ranking, and that is because it is just so satisfying to jump around with. I don't know what to say, it's just a really satisfying knife to use, it's really satisfying to inspect, and it's just a really cool knife overall. Coming in at number four is the Ion Karambit. This is one of the newer Valorant skins, just came out about a month ago, and it already this one is, is one all right. of my favorite. I really don't have that many thoughts on the skin, it's just- I like that it's small. 
It's really, really, really good and really clean. The animation is sick, of course, but I don't know. It's just a really good this skin. This one is okay. Coming in at number three is the RGX Butterfly no, Knife. No, this no, is no. Oh my god. Jesus. Jesus. This is like a TikTok knife. The knife I personally use all the time, and the only thing that's stopping it from being number one is the fact that what? you can't turn the lights on. It's like fidget spinner. Off. I think that would be a really cool addition. Even though the lights are cooler most of the time, the knife without the lights would also be kind of cool because you kind of get. But sick. the lights only turn turn on when you have when you're top fragger, no? Thick of the lights sometimes, but still a really really good skin. One that I personally own. And it comes in Jesus. at number three. Coming in at number two is the Champions 2021 Karambit. This knife is also really, really good. Another Karambit. Same exact animations as the Ion Karambit. The thing that makes it... Uh, bro, I can't even see it, bro. I have to pause. Cool. Cool. It's like a talent knife, no? The but small. It looks like a toucan's... Like a toucan. Oh, is it's OG, and you can't get it anymore because it was a one-time release for the 2021 bro, ranked. Oh my so god, it's really good. Skin. Bro, bro, I mean, I bro. Really what else to add? And finally, bro! coming in at the number one spot. If I didn't pause, I would have even seen the knife. Skin. And all Valorant is the Reaver Karambit. I mean, I don't really know what to say about this one either. <laughs> this skin is just. I mean, bro, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it real. That's all right. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's, of course, don't compare it with CS, but that looks pretty badass. That's perfection. The reaver smoke behind the knife animation, which is completely Chat. clean. I really think this is the best skin in Valorant and will be. That's pretty time. badass. But I'm surprised how little cool skins they have. This is the best skin like in Like something like this to me, I thought they would have more of this. Like more, it's, it's everything is so big. There's something like this is so much cooler, no? Like, and if, if it's small, they just put something in the second hand. Just like, this is cool. Like, if it's something small, maybe a cool effect. Valorant Why is everything so huge? Like, katana, swords, sledge, sledgehammers. Keep it tiny sometimes, bro. It's not about how big it is. It's about, like, it's about how you use it sometimes, you know? How you rotate it and shit, bro. I'm telling you, Valorant. I'm telling you, bro. The tier list was pretty bad, not gonna lie. Ugh, cheapers. It's the first time that I actually get an insight on Valorant chat. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So this guy's taste as well from the Valorant community is pretty, uh, not the best of what. <laughs>